All right, now this proves I'm not a total asshole, right? So we're at this bar, and Pat and I are drinking, and so then when we finish the drink, you just take the glass and just throw it over your head, whatever, right? So Like a couple, train spotting, yeah. Yeah, so a couple people got hit, same thing, like train <laughs> spotting or whatever, but train spotting wasn't out yet. You, I don't did, think you it, did, you just proved that you're not an asshole. Right, so, so then the club owner's panicked, he's bummed, because he sees it's Pat and I, and so he sends this bouncer over, you know, he's got a beard and he's like a big guy. And he comes up to me and goes, hey, hey, Jack, man. He goes, can you can you guys go? He goes, you, you, look, man, it's not me. You know, can you go? And, and Pat goes, hey, you wipe your ass with that beard, fucker. You know, Pat's just, and the guy knows it's like, he doesn't want to do this yeah. right now because it's going to go bad, right? And, uh, and I felt bad for the guy. Like, I do have a conscience, you know. So and what I, happened to this guy? Well, I'm telling you, let me get to the other story. So <laughs> I felt bad for him. I said, look, we'll leave. So I get Pat, I get in the car. We get in this car. I have a 1969 Lincoln Continental. They just look like you're going to pull it over. Anytime you see it, you're going to pull this fucking car over. I'm with Pat. We're driving. And Pat is also wearing all combat gear. He has never served in the armed forces. He wouldn't <laughs> make it in anything. But he'd always talk about back in Nam, back in Nam. Oh, Bitch, you're not old enough to be in Nam. Yeah. Exactly. So he, he was never the same. He wasn't the same before, before that. Right. Okay. Okay. So he's in the car with me and we're driving. I take side roads and I look and I see a cop next to us and we're both fucked up and I'm driving and Pat's all in military gear. Right. And I see the cop and the cop looks at me and I kind of smile and then I turn off and I think, ah, oh, we're fucked. We're fucked. So I'm already thinking, get away from Pat, get away from Pat <laughs> because Pat's going, fuck it. Just stop. Let's fight him. Let's fight him. Let's fight him. Right. So. So I'm like, get away from Pat, get away from Pat. So I cut through and then the cops are behind us. So they're, they're on us now. Now I know they're on us. I'm thinking, I got to get away from this fucker, right? So I stop the car. And I mean, the car is still kind of rolling when I get out. You know, it's still like rolling. I throw it in park and I open the door and I get out because I got to get away from Pat. And I'm walking back to the cops. The cops get out. I go, look, I saw you. You saw me. I understand you saw me, sir. Listen, my buddy he just got back. He got back from Beirut. I'm trying to get him back to the base. He is drunk. He has been drinking. I know we saw you. So I just want to get him back to the base so he doesn't get in trouble. I'm sorry for evading you, but that's what I, I did, right? So I'm on it quick, right? And so Pat gets out of the car and he's wearing his fatigues. fatigues. Yeah. He's got fatigues on. And the cop looks at him back and goes, what the fuck's going on? I go like this, the cop. I go, see, he goes, all right. He goes, just, <laughs> he goes, just keep it tight. He goes, keep it tight. Why don't you boys just keep it tight and... You know, next time, don't run away. I go, thank you, thank you. So I turn away, and Pat's going, you're letting him go. You're letting him go. It's fucking Jack Grisham. He's got warrants. He's a fucking animal. <laughs> I'm just screaming. I look back at the cops. I just, I shrug it off, and Pat's going, he's a fucking animal. <laughs> <laughs> run his name. Run his name. He's just going crazy, and I have to stuff him, stuff him back in the car and get the fuck out of it. Oh, he's just God. stupid. That, stupid. Yeah. And funny. And funny. I mean, that's yeah, funny. like shooting the, <laughs> shooting the massage parlor house. Yeah, correct. That, well, that's funny, too. Yeah, that's just him. Uh, well, cheers to him. I don't know. Uh, what do you think? Yeah, I don't have yeah. a beer either. Patrick Edwin. Hey. Yeah. You're okay, guys, uh, but they just uh, take it to a What's this? Yeah, yeah that's him. Oh. There's jerks. That was a TSOL guy. Yeah, completely. But Pat Brown was a skateboarder before he was a punk rocker. We all were. There's stories about you too, but you don't want to go into that. <laughs> I'm a nice person. That's just what he's fucking saying, bitch. I'm a nice yeah. guy. I love my grandma. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're going to end with it with that song. I want to be my yeah. Yeah. Be a person I want to be every day. Yeah, he's out of control. Like he, on the it's like... Li he used to shoot at my house. He'd shoot the, so the street lights out. Ridiculous. All right. More of that uh, so, okay, here's here's what kind of trouble. Oh, uh, what this, a guy. What a guy. Here's the Pat Brown. This, uh, hey, you better cheers to him now. Son no, of a no. bitch. And that's why I, you can't cheers with it. You can't. Anyway, Don't chip it now. Here's the Pat Brown. Brown. Never knew him. Never knew him. To you. Yeah. Uh, but he was that the, guy. The SIR show. Yeah, I was there. Yeah, that that was that was trouble. I, I loved your move because people, for people who don't, who don't know this, cops showed up and it was uh, TS. Well, I don't know, fifteen hundred people there in Hollywood. A couple thousand, yeah, couple thousand, packed, yeah, packed. Uh, Social D played, opened. Uh, cops get in and Jack tells the, the whole audience, "Everybody, sit down. If we all sit down, they can't kick us all out." 
Right. And then what'd you do? What do you mean what'd I do? You played a abolish government and said, kids go crazy. No, I said, <laughs> no, they, yeah, we said, and then everybody we were got fucking around, yeah. you know, but that really fucked me up. Like, I didn't like it. I, I didn't like it. Like, I talk about it, ignore heroes. Like, I, that was the end for me. That's when I decided I didn't want to play in TSL anymore. Really? Yeah, it's like I, because after that show, after, and it wasn't like telling people to sit down. I wasn't telling them to sit down. I just said, let's sit down. Sit down. Yeah. It's like you say to yeah. your friend, hey, can I use the lighter? Yeah, use the lighter. Well, because so you hand me they can't lighter. kick us out. They can't kick us all out if we're all sitting down. Right. But the, they'll just, just, just bonk you the boop on but the But what I'm saying is the move was just, hey, can I use your lighter? Here, I hand you yeah. the lighter. So I'm not following your orders. Yeah, yeah. Like even Human T-Shirt says in Ignore Hills, he goes, yeah, Jack sociopathic experiments or whatever the fuck. It wasn't that. I wasn't. It was just, hey, let's do this. But yeah. then after that. Well, that makes sense, though, too, if the cops are in there and you're trying to fucking do it. If everyone sat down, then everyone could see the cops. You'd see exactly where they're at, and they would right. fucking see how ridiculous. But what I'm no, saying but is, I do the same like thing, Jack. No, it's just something we have to do as punk rockers. Everyone, sit down. Let's calm this down, and then fuck this. I'm playing abolish government. Right, let's but go that crazy. Wasn't it, but that's not the, my point of this. It wasn't some bono fucking rock star move. Fucking let's yeah. say I command the audience. Yeah, yeah. You know that fucking bullshit. It's just yeah. me talking to friends. But exactly. then after that. People started saying, tell us what to do, tell us what to do, tell us what to do. They would yell that at shows and stuff. And I just thought, ah, oh, fuck but that have, noise. But you've always told your audience what to do, like funny things. On the Warp Tour, you had people thrown up on the parachute. Well, and then you got a jumpsuit and started doing yoga. And things got dark. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Story as old as time, buddies. <laughs> yeah, it went vegan. <laughs> Fucking. But it was just a, bu it was a bummer. And that's why, I t and then I told the guys in TSL, I said, hey, let's just change our name. Let's just keep playing, but, but let's change our name. No, let's but they not went be to TSL they, anymore. They became a rock band. Yeah, they did. Yeah. You, 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 you weren't pleased, I bet. Well, I didn't care. At first, it's not till later on. I didn't really care until later when I started getting blamed for what they did. But that's that's not your fault, Jack. No, it's, n it's not your fault. No, I know it's not. And it's not their fault either. It, it's, it's their not, fault. You know, no, a lot of bands went rock because they thought they'd get popular. Yeah. Were you in TSOL when Joy Killer was going on? No, no. yeah, no, because you guys were all on the we had played before that, we had gotten together before that. But then we didn't stay together until 99. Like, yeah. we didn't get back for good till 99. Because, frankly, everybody was too fucked well, wait, up. Before, it was before 99, it was, there's, um, I think it was uh, Punkarama, Punkarama 1 or 2. No well, effects was well, Brett on took it. Care you guys. Brett, yeah. Brett pushed you guys a lot. Brett was a good guy. Yeah. yeah, but nobody really cared about us. It's like, I mean, no offense to like Social D or whatever, but they back then, like they were a second build band. Yeah. They weren't like, a, like a lot of these bands that people look at now and go, oh, they were so big, they were so big. But back oh, at the time, yeah, they no, weren't. No, Social yeah. D, I saw them second in the cafe. Or, they, they were so drunk, they could, couldn't yeah. play. They played eight songs. They managed eight songs and it was all out of tune. Right. It's Th like That was Social them, Distortion. Right. They were like second or third Bill bands they weren't that that didn't come to later i don't know why am i talking about this what happened I, I didn't ask you about this i'm gonna ask you about this okay you're on epitaph right you were on posh boy alternative tentacles frontier enigma restless nitro cleopatra hurley international rise anarchy dc jam tko and epitaph yeah <laughs> that's quite a career yeah what's the problem <laughs> what's, is it is why it the labels been, or is it <laughs> you like, why, why have you been married so many times <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, so what's the No problem? record deal ever worked out, I guess. Well, may, I don't think we, we've ever, I, I think maybe they think we're going to sell more than we sell. I don't know. It's like, nobody gives a shit. Oh, what I was saying is nobody cares about us. Brett might have tried to push us or whatever, but the kids don't really fucking give a shit. They don't care. They don't care about it. No, the kids us. don't. The adults care. Yeah, the adults care, but the kids don't. Punk and Drublick, you know? Older right. people that want to get drunk and see right. their favorite band when they were right. kids. I don't know. I grew up I grew up skating, and just because, you know, just through skateboarding, I listened to everything. You know, every type of music, because that's what skating was. And TSOL was, has always been a huge part of, like, skate fucking videos and stuff like that. So, you know, it's like the kids do listen to it, because I'm way younger than you guys. Well, you're, you're well, classic. You're, you're one of the way classic bands. Way younger. But I'm just, I, so I'm, and I don't know. And then a lot, like, I like doing whatever I want to do. Clearly. And so that doesn't go well with people either. Uh, I know. Yeah. Yeah, you know that. It's like, it, it's like, you know, even though you're on a, for me, even though you're on an independent record label, you're not independent because they got something to say about what you're doing. You're only truly independent if you're financing your own work. Yeah. You know, and that's, that, and that's so, independent. Yeah, but that's being independent. So they my lady, we don't this. tell bands what to do. When you record, well, it, it, uh, that's not. I don't care. But you have a certain sound. You're not gonna. You're not gonna get some fucking 
signs. I I don't know what I, I, I don't know what you do. Anyway, you know what I mean. I wouldn't have you signed have the a, we, I wouldn't have signed the weathered statues seven inch. I would have signed. That was a hell of a seven inch. <laughs> that was. A, I remember the offer going. What happened to that song? There's so much <laughs> oh, promise. See, in it. What yeah. the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? When he fucking does Biafra impression, it's <laughs> okay. Biafra is not standing next to you when you do a Biafra impression. <laughs> that, that's why that was fucked. Yeah, Jill is like, why, why are you doing this? You sit down the cooler. <sighs> yeah, he didn't want us. To, I, he wasn't. He didn't want us part of that. They want some, even though it's independent. They want you to think a certain way or do a certain way. They don't want you to do whatever you want. Epitaph. Well, Dance With Me was different than the first album. Way different. But, but we was, already had the songs. But, but was, yeah, but the second album was so good. And so it didn't sound like anything else. And uh, But still way different than the first one. But it was funny. And we that got, ride said, symbol. How the, yeah, fastest ride symbol jerks ever. off every day. That guy was a, our drummer was a, he was a, a compulsive I know, but you ride, you play off. with your left hand. Every drummer is a compulsive jerk, jerk he's, off artist. He's a compulsive so Was he left handed? He's, he's not on the ride with the left. I don't know what he was. He would, he would jerk off constantly, like frighteningly. All, all drummers. Well, I, I, all think, drummers. I, think, I think drummers play <laughs> snare with their all right. All of them. No? Ride with the right. Ride with the right, right. snare with there okay, you go. So, yeah. oh, so, that, so that's how we got the fast ride. You're going You would walk in. So he's fast. Like, See, so if you had actually over. watched further into that movie, you would have seen that. But he Jack, would, Jack, let's talk about this. It's two and a half hours. Is you it, fucking is it gonna stay two and, two and a half hours? It's gonna stay fucking two and a half hours. And so I, agree, Jack, I agree with you, Jack. I've, I've, I've got a bone to pick <laughs> yeah. with you. I got yeah. a bone to pick with you, buddy. Pick it. Okay. Thought I was gonna relax last night. I had a long day the day before, having the podcast with the guy that was about to die. And this yeah, guy drops. Yeah. Uh, this guy comes in at like midnight last night and goes, "Oh man, I got all this shit going on. I need you to watch this video, Sam." And he like he said it is like like almost I seen it behind his eyes and I turned it on. I was like, "Fuck, this thing's two and a half hours long." Yeah. And so then, we, we both watched an hour and a half. Yeah, we both watched an hour and a half. We, we should split, have split it. it up. We yeah. had to split it because I couldn't stay up all fucking night. Why would you have a monologue for two and a half hours? Two, exactly, a two and a half this, hour monologue. It's fucking yeah. crazy. No, yeah. there's other people that yeah, talk a little. Yeah, there's other people. It's a like a, a show, yeah. Did you do it in front of a live audience? No. So you guys, did you pick where the laughs went? Yeah, it? yeah, we picked where the laughs went. I mean, how many yeah, documentaries crazy. have a laugh track? None. Yeah, none. Did well, that have, was the whole thing. I didn't want to do... Do you have to license the laugh track? Look, they said, when we started to do this, right, when, they, when we started to make this, started to make this movie... They gave me a list, all these people. Oh, let's get this guy, this guy, this guy, interview this guy. I said, fuck all those people. I'm not talking to those people. Yeah. You can fuck off. So we lost one of our producers right then on that. You do stuff your like, own way. You, It's your way or the highway. That's right. Yeah. It's the only way to live. That's awesome. Yeah. Because what are you going to do? Compromise? It, what good does that ever do? I mean. Compromise is a lose-lose. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Look, in all seriousness, it's like, fuck, I'm not going to make that movie because I can turn on the fucking Netflix or wherever and watch a hundred of those fucking movies. I've been in them. They've had me in those fucking, oh, let's get this guy saying you're great. Let's get yeah. this guy saying you this, this. Yeah, fuck that noise. Not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I said, if you were not, if you did not pay me or you were not in the fucking vehicle with me, yeah. then I'm not talking to you. Bottom line, have nothing fuck to do yeah. with you. That's it. So you're all just cut off. I'm not doing it. And then I wanted to keep it there. And they said, well, you're not putting flyers in. There's no T.S. Well music in a T.S. Well movie. No, it, there's not. It was. Yeah. I thought that was awkward too. Yeah. Uh, but I, I enjoyed it very much. I, cause I, and I'm, I'm making my notes and I'm, um, you know, I, look, I went notes. through your book. I, Thank you. No, you, you, don't, you don't like my questions. They're too tough. No, your questions are not tough, but that was the All motto. Right, so tell listen, me about your neighbors. Listen, How old are you, 13? Listen, the motto. You're fucking the neighbors. Yeah, listen to me, man. Listen, <laughs> the motto, the motto of that movie was fuck your notes. That's the fucking motto. <laughs> yeah. Because I get people going, well, why don't you show it to me and I'll give you my notes on it. Fuck, fuck your, your notes. notes. No, no, I, I, know, I know, but these yeah. are notes just I want to ask oh, you stuff. Well, you can ask whatever. You know, yeah. th that mean a lot i didn't take notes on the movie no just what i want to talk to you about but that's what i'm saying it's like look it was it was good though i'm just fucking yeah busting your balls it's fucking it's good it's just like it's long it's too long for my attention it's span. fucking long yeah so yeah. you press pause you know fucking what about braveheart how long's fucking that movie man yeah but that's a hangover movie you know you don't have it's like fucking <laughs> it's like uh uh shawshank redemption you know you can just go to sleep wake up you're like oh he's in the show yeah yeah well that's right and, yeah. and it's made for our people I was, I was like, oh, yeah, I remember that. And, oh, yeah, and yeah. that, and that. Uh, and that's why, and seriously, that was it. It's like, hey, fuck you, I don't care. I don't care. It, it's like, well, hey, they're not going to show that on streaming services. I don't care. 
Fuck them. It's like they can fucking come over to my house and watch it. Yeah, I don't what, give what a do fuck. What do you care now? You want to tell your story? Yeah, and, that's it. I'm gonna and, make and it was what a I completely different story than your book, which uh, is cool it's too. Pretty close. Yeah, but your book half of it was when you were right younger, but I, I before you found punk I know, rock. But I could. But it wasn't the American Demon movie. It was how what right. how how did I get involved in punk rock and then end up in yeah. TSOL? The Genesis story. Right. Exactly. Well, I think uh, I like the No Effects book. But your book is just my favorite. 